Good day to you. Good morning. Good evening. Good night. Whichever part of the world you're watching me from. <clears throat> good day to you guys. This is Iris Savio signing in today for your daily card read. Today being the 5th of March 2019, we have the new moon stepping in tonight in full force, full bloom. I hope this full moon brings you release of what you do not want, release of what you do not need, an initiation and bringing in an attraction of things that we need in life. I've ordered a special deck for my daily card reads. It's the super, super large version. So I'm going to do my daily card reads with these decks from now on. And um, I'm also going to pull up a daily guidance based on the Archangel Oracle cards. Okay. I don't really use this in my day-to-day -day life or day-to-day -day, uh, work. Um, but I did receive a comment or rather an inbox message from one of you stating that you would like to receive Oracle readings as your daily guidance. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do as well. And um, let's begin. So let's shuffle with today's energy. Let's see what today's day brings. Okay, so the energy for today, oh, we seem to have a concerning day today. So we've got the Ten of Swords reversed. So if you take a look at the card, so I, the reason I bought the big deck is for you to observe what I want to point out. And I'm going to teach you as well how to read tarot by the meaning, okay? So today's day signifies release from pain. Uh, this had to be this way, it would, you would consider it pain. But today's day signifies release. Given in conjunction with the new moon, we are bringing in and attracting things to ourselves. We finished the period of detachment. We finished the period of letting go. We finished the period of... Um, you know, we've initiated the process of healing now, okay? This does seem to be relief and respite from a dry spell. Something that has been hurting us for a very, very long time seems to be taking care of itself, taking care of its concern. Um, if you see the skies, so when you read tarot, you need to pay attention to the nitty-gritties of happening, what's happening in the background. A lot of you guys sometimes get lost in what is happening in the front, Okay, what you also want to pay attention to is the nuances in the art which is mentioned in the deck as well. Okay, whichever deck you're looking at, whether it's the Druid Craft Arrow example, this deck that I used yesterday, look at the difference in the skies. You will see a difference. You see, one deck has a different color sky versus another sky. So, what you want to pay attention to is the nuances that's happening in the background. So this, the card for today signifies relief from dark days, okay? It seems respite from dark days. The number 10 is a number, could also be counted as a number of completion. It signifies respite from something that has been harassing you, something that has been irking you, rubbing you the wrong way. The discomfort that you were facing, of course, you won't be comfortable in this sort of a situation, right? But the discomfort that you 
were in seems to be taking care of itself from here on. Maybe possibly this new moon brings about a different change in attraction in your life. Possibly you may have done something that could have brought about a certain change. Maybe it's a behavioral change that you're bringing out for yourself. I'm putting up the card close up for you so that you could see a better picture. I'm trying to sort out the daily reads in a more um, effective manner so that it gets uploaded faster. Uh, but at this moment, you've got to just bear with what is happening. Okay, so this is your daily card read for today. I am now going to pull up an oracle card for you for today. Let's see what the cards have in store. In the name of the angel and the archangels, the seraphims and the seraphims, I pray that you guide us, guide us today, guide us tomorrow, guide us the rest of our days. May we experience your presence. May we enjoy blissful health and God's guidance. Mother Mary, our Virgin Mother of God, summon your archangels to give us a message for today that will help us bloom to your greater glory. In God's name, Amen. Spirit, all five elements are one. We call together. Amen. Okie dokie. So, wow, we've got an amazing set today. So, <coughs> sorry about that. We've got the, um, the angels telling you to speak the truth. Invoke your throat chakra. I'm sorry, you may be seeing this the other way around. Um, but as I said, I'm trying to sort this out for you guys and uh, you will find the change slowly and surely. It's invoking you to speak the truth. It's invoking you to talk. Don't hide yourself. Given in reference with the tag or rather the card that came up today as your daily guidance, the Ten of Swords come up reversed, tells you the fact that you need to release yourself and you know, find out it seems to be taking care of its own problems. Now, the concern is this. If you don't open your mouth, if you don't talk, you're not going to be able to get your situation taken care of. Um, you cannot expect everybody to be sitting with a crystal ball um, and assuming what you're going through. Okay. So speak the truth. Speak your heart out. Okay. Archangel Michael is also coming ahead and protecting and guiding you through your situation. So we have Archangel Michael in all his glory. Okay. If you want to read what it says, I will read it out to you, of course. You'll be reading it the other way around. It says Archangel Michael. Okay. Wow, look at the purple hue, right? Amazing. So, um, the writing, what it says out here is, you, you're working very closely with this powerful archangel who is protecting and guiding you through this situation. What I would like to do right now is take a few moments of silence, invoke Archangel Michael, and let's pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Archangel Michael, defend us in this day of battle. Be our safeguard against the enemies and the snares of the devil. May God humbly rebuke him. We humbly pray. O thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, keep us safe from all things uneternal. Keep us safe. Guide us. Guard us. Keep us everything. Keep us away from everything that is not of thy kingdom. All together. Amen. Your follow-up card for today again refers to Archangel Michael. He tells you to cut your cords. Okay, so if you want me to link this to your tarot reading that came up a while ago, a couple of minutes ago, Archangel Michael tells you if you want to get out of your situation, if you want to move out of your situation, you got to take action. So you speak your heart, you speak the truth, he is there to guide you, and you got to detach from the situation. See, healing from the situation is one thing altogether. However, once you heal from the situation, you have to detach from the situation as well. Healing is just half work done. 
okay so pay attention to healing yourself cutting those cords that no longer serve you um may you be guided to cut those cords that are required remember when you do cord cutting if you do practice cord cutting please ensure you do not cut cords that are built to last you cut cords that are built to harm you okay um so archangel michael if you want me to read what it says out here i'm going to read it to you he says ask archangel michael to clear any old attachments that to fear that stem from past relationships freeing you from destructive patterns now when he's talking about relationships out here he's not only talking about romance or love or sex he's talking about relationships with money relationships maybe with your boss your previous workplace everything is relationships right at the end of the day so pay attention to this disconnect from the problem fix the problem and all will be well okay with that being said i do want to hope and pray i would urge every one of you to hope and pray for peace for peace as well um i do see very 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 dark times ahead for our nation whether you are from india or you are from abroad you please send our country healing please send our country the guidance that we are able to build and not destroy because at the end of the day life is life whether it's this border or beyond this border um life is precious and we got to learn how to take care of it with that being said let's pray let's pull up wow look at the coincidence i pull up psalm number 89 uh, again you'll be seeing this the other way around and sincere apologies for it but you can make our right it's it's god it's psalm 89 psalm 89 is prayer in times of national trouble i I would humbly request each one of you to please bow your head and pray with me. O oh Lord, I will always sing of your constant love. I will proclaim your faithfulness forever. I know that your love will last for all time. that your faithfulness is as permanent as the sky you said i have made a covenant with the man i choose i have promised my servant david a descendant of yours i will preserve your destiny forever The heavens sing of the wonderful things that you do. The holy ones sing of your faithfulness, Lord. No one in heaven is like you. None of the heavenly beings is your equal. You are feared in the council of the holy ones, and all of them stand in awe of you. Lord God Almighty, none is as almighty as you. In all things you are faithful O Lord you rule over the powerful sea you calm its angry waves you crushed the monster Rahab and killed it with your mighty strength you've defeated your enemies heaven is yours the earth as well you made the world and everything in it you created the north and the south mount tabor and mount hermon sing to you for joy how powerful you are how great is your strength your kingdom is founded on righteousness and justice love and faithfulness are shown in all you do how happy are the people who worship you with songs who live in the light of your kindness because of you they rejoice all day long and they praise you for your goodness you give us great victories in your love you make us triumphant You O Lord choose our protector you the holy god of israel gave us our king all together amen thank you so much guys for being a part 
of this session today. I would hope and pray that you have prayed with me. I hope you guys have a beautiful day. I hope in times of trouble we are protected and we are guided in God's name. Amen. See you later. Thank you so much for tuning in. Bye-bye.